and today I am decided to do a video of my nightly schedule beauty when it comes to beauty and grooming and stuff like that. If you recognize, or if you don't recognize it obviously because I've never done a video here, but I am at my mom's house and this is my bathroom so you can see the background behind me. So I just kind of wanted to go through my nightly routine. I obviously don't do this every night because on those nights I get very lazy and I don't really I want to say I don't have time. I thought I have time. I just don't want to. But usually um, when I want to get nice and pampered and ready for bed, this is what I like to do. And first, I want to like to mention my makeup. If you guys can see here, I'll try to like move it into the light. Um, this is my makeup for today. I actually really liked it. I just put on a light I want to say like an off-white um, color in the um, inner corner of my eyes and then in the middle I put like a brown color and then on the in the crease I put like a green color because I like to match my makeup with my outfits. I know a lot of people say, ew, don't do that. That's just, that's just wrong. I don't know. I just like to do that. And um, if you're interested in my outfit, I will go ahead and show that right now. So the first thing I do on my nightly routine is I take all my makeup off before I get into the shower. I know a lot of people either take it off in the shower. That's what I used to do. Um, I, I cannot believe I'm saying this. I used to do that when I was younger. I would just uh, wipe it off with a washcloth. That's not good to do because that's just going to like um, give you wrinkles and that's just too rough on your eyes. So I like to remove my makeup and I do have a makeup remover. Um, it's this makeup remover. It's so it's kind of old because this stuff can last a really, really long time. So it's very faded, but um, I get it from Avon and it's just a plain makeup remover. It's nothing special. Um, this is probably my favorite. I've tried only one other makeup remover, but so far between these two, between those two, um, this is my favorite and this is what I use pretty much every night to take my makeup off. So this is the first thing I do in my nightly routine. want to rub that all over your eyes um I think on the bottle since the writing is all worn off I can't really read it but I think it's like a lip and an eye remover makeup remover no it doesn't remove your eyes and lips but you know what I mean so I just spread that all over and then I wipe it off with a Kleenex and the makeup comes off very smoothly Okay, so I just got out of the shower. First I removed my eye makeup and then I jumped in the shower. And my shower is usually, when I'm doing this beauty nightly schedule, um, it usually takes me the longest because this is the time where I like take the time to like shave my legs and stuff like that because I definitely don't do that every day because it takes so long. But we, and I'm in my pajamas already, but before I put on my pajamas, I like to put on cream and I use two kinds of cream. The first one I use is, um, what is it? Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E Cream. I love this stuff. I use this um, for dry skin because I have it really, really bad. It's like extreme dry skin. So this works perfectly for dry skin. And also if you have any um, shaving irritation, I realize that this works perfectly for that too. It really helps heal that and stuff like that. And um, also I use this on my face uh, when I don't use my other 
face routine, which I will be doing in a minute. Um, this is safe to put on your face um, because it has um, collagen and elastin in it, so it keeps your face and your body looking young. And I really love this stuff. Um, you can, I got this at Kmart, but you can get it at um, a dollar store or I think at Walmart, stuff like that, you can get this cream. It's the Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E Cream. Love this stuff. And then I also use another cream. This cream is the Carry Continuous Moisturization um, Cream. I use basically any kind of cream, especially cream that is, uh, heals your skin and it's for dry skin. But for now, this is what I have. But I really use any type of body lotion that I can put all over my body. So that is what I do before I put on my pajamas right after I get out of the shower. Next for my face um, routine, I have um, a face, not like a face wash, what would you call it? I have a little face moisturizer, cleanser, whatever you want to call it, um, face kit from Artistry Essentials. It comes in three steps. Um, the bottles look like this. That's what the bottles look like. And for the first step, it is a hydrating cleanser. So I just put um, about a fingertip length uh, of this stuff and then I just put it all over my face. So this is the first step. The second step is this stuff and it is a hydrating toner. And I use a cotton round. I put a little bit on that and I put that all over my face. And then for the third step, I use a hydrating lotion that I do the same thing with the first step. I put a little bit on my fingertip and put that all over my face as well. But also what I would like to say about this uh, facial skin care kit, or whatever you want to call it, is if you have acne prone skin, this probably wouldn't be a good idea to put this on at night or right before you go to bed because there is two different kinds of lotions. Um, uh, I'm guessing it would fall into your pores. I wouldn't really know because I'm someone that doesn't have acne prone skin. And to be perfectly honest, when I got this even on the bottle and even in the packaging it came in, it never said anything of this, oh, this is a night kit or this is a morning kit. Sometimes I use it at night, sometimes I use it in the morning. I Most of the time I use it at night because I just love how clean it makes my skin feel and it just makes it just makes me feel like I have all my makeup off and I can just go to bed clean and clear and that's how I like it and it's never clogged my pores but I mean if you have acne prone skin maybe this wouldn't be a good idea because there are two different kinds of lotions and also the toner uh, I don't know if toner could clog your pores too and cause acne but I mean hey I don't really know so that's just a tip but I prefer to put it on at night because I just like how clean it makes me feel To move on to my hair, I have really tangly hair, especially coming out of the shower. So there are two things that I use on my hair. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use the other, but most of the time I use both because my hair is just so tangly. Oh, it's terrible. So the first thing I use is just a hair detangler. Sorry, if you can hear the pipes, there's someone upstairs using the bathroom or something. Maybe I'll just try to talk a little louder, but yeah, I use a hair detangler and I just get this at the dollar store. Um, this particular one you can use for wet and dry hair. And all you have to do is shake it up really good, spray it evenly all over your hair, and then take your fingers and then just lightly, you know, pull through your hair to get out any tangles and stuff like that. And I think this works really, really good. I mean, could it be better? Of course it could, but being only a buck or two from the dollar store, this works really, really good. And I'm I love this stuff so much. So this is the first thing I use, or sometimes I'll just use this alone. But the second item I use that I fell in love with is the Garnier 
Garnier, Garnier, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but anyways, Garnier Fertise, the Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner Cream. I love this stuff. This makes my hair feel amazing and soft and it totally gets all the tangles out, especially uh, when I put the two together, it's like amazing how great these work. But honestly, um, either during the day, I'll just put this in my hair. I'll put this in all the time because it just smells so good and it makes my hair feel so soft and so not tingly, if that's like a word. But it just smells so fruity and I just love the way it smells and it makes my hair smell delicious. But what I do is I just take a little bit into my palm. I would say um, maybe like a dime to a quarter size. I usually use about that much, sometimes more than others. So I just put that in and then I rub it in my hands and then I just put it all over my hair mostly in like the ends of my hair but I kind of go all the way up not totally touching my roots but just as far up as I can go but I mostly um spend more time on my ends oh and it just smells so good it's so fruity like a strawberry or I don't know it just smells so good and it makes my hair smell so good and then I just kind of run my fingers through my hair and I do get a little bit of fallout because that's just how my hair is my hair is really tangly and I shed a lot like it's ridiculous That's what I do for with my hair. Most of the time I don't brush my hair just because of how tangly it is. I mean, these two products work amazing on my hair, but still, I just don't want to take the time and brush it. And usually throughout the night, when I just keep playing it with it and stuff, it'll just dry and dry with the natural part and how my bangs flow. So that's um, basically all I do for that. Okay, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my nightly schedule beauty grooming video or whatever you would like to call this video. Um, yeah, that's basically all I do on my nightly schedule, except before I go to bed, obviously, I brush my teeth and stuff like that. But yeah, that is basically all that I do. It, to me, it feels like such a long process, but right af after I do it, I feel so amazing. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos as well. I also wanted to give a shout out to a few new of my subscribers, Taylor, Allison, and Margaret. I won't say your last names because I'll probably butcher them, but I want to say hi to you guys and thank you so much for subscribing to me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos that will be coming very shortly. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and just stay tuned for more videos. Bye!